Right, best be quick because my battery's going to go flat. Now, if you remember a couple of months ago, I showed you how I installed some privacy window film. So we've got private windows on the narrowboat, but they don't work at night time. So this week I'm going to show you how I've since added some perfect fit blinds in them. I know it's not quite applicable to any other boat, but this is a very useful system for any double glazing in a house. Anyway, keep on watching. Before I get started, here's our 57 foot narrowboat with brown double glazing. And as soon as I saw them, I knew I wanted perfect fit blinds. I'd already installed them in our old house, our new house's conservatory, bathroom and walk-in wardrobe, and my workshop. But I didn't know what type of brown this was, and I could only find two companies online that sold them in this colour, not just white. They're designed to fit inside the internal window beading, and they won't work if the beading is on the outside. I'll leave a blog post and video below so you know if they'll be suitable for yours or not. And with them being pricey, I played it safe and ordered some different coloured samples of framework, different size brackets to see if the handle still opened, and a few slats in different colours to see which one would work best for our narrowboat. And it turned out we have Rosewood Brown UPVC. And I got these from Direct Order Blinds, who call this mahogany. I'll leave links below if you need them, but this is no way sponsored, discounted or affiliated. It's more like a public service announcement. Oh, and there are always other options like blackout roller blinds or a pleat. The reason I love Venetian ones though is because you can angle them downwards to still let daylight in, but people can't see in from outside. Anyway, tip one, put a blanket down first on a table before laying them out. That way, if you've gone for white, you don't accidentally scratch the white powder coating. These had a wood effect though, so it was less important. Tip two, while you're measuring all of your windows before you order, make sure you number them all and keep it until the order comes. What I will recommend for this company is that they add your references to the packages as well, especially when it was an option to put on the order form. But not to worry, because I still had that list. Although this could have been painful if you're ordering a lot more than seven. Tip three, Save those leggy bands, because they make a great elastic band ball. These were mostly from the last 25 blinds that I had to order. Next, lay the blind on the table, with the good side facing down, with the slot holes closer to the window pane. Then it's just a matter of pushing all four corners together. But tip four, when you're doing this, make sure you don't accidentally trap any of the slats. Occasionally they can get in the way, and you can accidentally crease the ends and avoid trapping the string as well. Another thing you'll find is that some companies don't provide these small screws to reinforce them on the corner. These did, so I'm using my Works USB screwdriver, which has lots of different bits. Tip five, chill on the towpath or garden and let someone else do all the work. It's so easy, I could do it in my sleep, mum. So that's one built. It's time to do a quick test. test to see if I sent the right measurements. I'll close the door. And relax. The real tip five though is avoid this credit card method. Several guides say hold a credit card in all four corners upright and then slot the brackets under or above it. This almost never lined up in this case, proving it to be a pain in the bum, so I'm going to include a clip from a previous video to when I just hold up the blind, mark the slot hole with a pencil, then push the brackets behind the beading. Then line the frame slots with the brackets. But if they don't line up and you've put your brackets in already without following the next tip, they can be an absolute pain to move while they're in situ. And it didn't help that it was a really muggy day. Done. Nice. Tip six is to lubricate the brackets with silicon or washing up liquid or hand wash. And do this even if you can get them in without it. Tip seven is open the blinds so you can see the slots easier to line up. Tip eight, sometimes the final slot needs a slight bang with a fist. So now they're all in place, they're now private in the day and night. 
But finally, I'd like to answer our viewer's email here, who since asked me, how do you remove them for window cleaning? And I'll show you an example in my workshop because it's closer to me right now. I start by unhooking one of the slots and then you should find it's easier to unhook the rest. Sometimes if it's stiff, I'll push the bracket in with something blunt like the opposite end of a pencil. And to put back, just line it all up with the brackets again. Lines in them. I know it's not quite a pickle. Ow!